battered and partial remains of the Plymouth track team wiped out two days ago when a chartered plane attempting a landing in a thick fog crashed into the wild mountainside will be interred this afternoon in Fallbrook Cemetery. Poor boys. Oh, tragic. All those fine young athletic bodies, all those hours of training for strength, speed, endurance, gone to waste. Activate this body. I'll begin with 50,000 votes. I'll leave your face the way it is. I'll make sure you don't leave until I'm prepared to give you a new face. Look again, my boy. You'll be glad to stay here until I make you fit to go among people. fed you. There, it's all over. You want to hurt me some more? No, I don't. Sometimes we can't avoid giving pain, even to friends. You're not my friend. What 
Yes, I am. You only say that, but you're not! You want to see me killed? No, I don't. I... I want to see you live. You don't! You don't! <laughs> Disassemble him here, preserve the parts, and later in England I reconstruct him. In my London laboratory, I have the same facilities, the same equipment, and the same assistant, you. Can't do that. It's too inhuman. I can't be a part of such a fiendish plan. You can and you will. You've got no choice. And actually, there's no time to be lost. Now listen carefully. Place him on the operating table, ostensibly to remove the stitches in his new face. You'll see he'll be like a little lamb, consent to anything as long as it improves his countenance. Only this time I'm going to strap him down very firmly. I'll explain that it's, it's necessary to ensure no distortions to his features. I'll tell him the slightest move may jeopardize his precious new face. I assure you he'll cooperate like an angel. After I've got him strapped down, I want you to inject a double quantity of sodium pentothal. And then he'll feel nothing. My dear Dr. Carlton, in three days, you and I will be walking the deck of the Queen Mary, enjoying the ocean breezes, the company of charming passengers, and relishing the holiday we so justly deserve. Go ahead. Prepare for the operation and get the hypodermic ready. Well, my boy, you're quite proud of your new face, aren't you? Yes. With it, I can walk among people. They can see me and not be frightened. Not quite. But after I've removed the stitches, no one will be able to tell a thing. Then your new face will be yours permanently. Let me have the mirror. Don't get on the table, my boy. We've got to get you ready. Take long. It'll be quite, quite painless. It won't hurt. Believe me. Go ahead. Give him the pentathol. No, I don't want that. I know what's best for you. No. You want to hurt me? Go ahead. Silence, you fool. His arm's not steady. Oh, no, no, you won't. to resist, to let us take him away. You heard. They won't hurt you if you come. Never forget his face after the accident. Never. 